Hello everyone, I am a foreign coin collector who finds stamps interesting. I don't collect them, but uh, for Christmas this year, uh, my uh, sister-in-law decided to go on Amazon and purchase a pack of 1,000 stamps from uh, world countries that we can see on the description here. So these are going to be uh, off paper, so that's used. I, like I said, I'm not a collector, but I do find them interesting, and I have made a couple of videos where I have... Uh, uh, she sent me one of these last year, and also in the past I have purchased United States stamps off of eBay for myself to actually use them because you can buy some stamps below face value sometimes, and I find that interesting. So uh, with a package of a 1,000 stamps, if we were to stop and look at each one, uh, I would be here until tomorrow making this video. So at some point, I'm just going to have to stop. Now, when I look at this package, uh, I believe they were vacuum sealed in here. And uh, so I, I was when I opened this up and saw that it was 1,000 stamps, I was surprised that a package this thin could... Uh, have something like that. So uh, one thing I will say is if this is anything like other uh, stamp packages I have purchased or opened in the past, there is nothing of significant value in here. Uh, I believe the stamp uh, terminology is kiloware, uh, that there is going to be nothing of uh, real value. So this is probably good for someone like me who probably doesn't have anything in here unless it was in a, a previous package and uh, to me everything in here is going to be new and I can actually enjoy the uh, what we see on here and uh, probably see some similar themes to what we find on coins another thing I, I've another thought I've had on these is uh, with coins you might have one coin design that spans for many many years but most countries make brand new stamps every year so it's probably a lot easier to come up with something uh to have so much more variety and also i've seen some countries on here that uh, i probably don't even have uh, co uh coins from just because it's kind of difficult but like uh, ajman state right here i think that is part of the united arab emirates i believe they make coins but i don't have any also see an interesting uh, steam train hiding over here. So uh, we're going to cut this open and just see how much we can go through in a, uh, in a uh, reasonable time. So let me see. Uh, first, I'm going to dig out the steam train stamp. Uh, zoom in a little bit. Nagaland. <laughs> so our first stamp, I don't even know where that is from. Nagaland. I had to look it up. Uh, Nagaland is has been part of India f since about the 60s. So uh, it, one thing I like about foreign coins is, yeah, it's great to find uh, coins from Great Britain, but I always really enjoy finding the places that I've never heard of before or the, the places that are a little bit rarer. And I know that several... Uh, princely states of India had their own coins for a while. So to make that the first one that we get out of the bag here, I think that's pretty interesting. This one has been uh, catching my interest. Oman Airmail. All right, I'm going to do these a little bit more rapid fire now. Here's the one from Ajman State. Get the uh, all right, we're already in the uh, countries I cannot even read the alphabet. So um, here we got uh, Helvetia, Switzerland, Ro Rhodesia. Okay, so there's a country that's not around anymore. Two and a half uh, cents. Looks like we have a couple with a... Uh, is that the, uh, the old transatlantic uh, airplane? Magyar, so we've got Hungary, uh, a couple of those stamps. A couple of those in blue, another one in blue. Fujera, so something else Arabic, let's see. Netherlands, so we've got a uh, royal kiss there, which is uh, messed up by the, uh, the cancel stamp. Another Netherlands, that looks like another one that's identical right there. 
Just missed the World Cup on this one. Another one from Netherland. Uh, let's see. This one is Poland. So and interesting how they just added the uh, the edge of the uh, the frame, even that that one the cancel in the corner, but uh, that they didn't bother to uh, cut that off. So looks like we've got a few of these uh, German ones all in a row. So stuff like that is going to make this a lot less interesting. But uh, that is a little bit more interesting. That is uh, going to be uh, controversial whether or not someone wants to to collect a Hitler stamp. And I am of the opinion of the historic value. We can look at the uh, world's worst leaders that have been overcome. So I do find that interesting. We've also got a green and a pink one. So I know that if I went to a flea market and had that those three listed just for a dollar, it would probably sell. Here we've got uh, New Zealand with Queen Elizabeth, and uh, see another one of those. There's probably going to be a lot of Queen Elizabeth stamps in here, just like there's a lot of Queen Elizabeth coins out there. That one doesn't say a country, so that must be uh, Britain. From Poland, uh, let's see, we've got that one. Here's a USA stamp that I don't care about. Uh... I like how these are going to be, each of these are going to be works of art. And I guess if you get into stamp collecting, that is why you would get into something like this. Because each coin or each stamp is going to be its own little artwork. A different kind of artwork than coins, but uh, in this case, a lot more intricate. Uh, it's these kinds of uh, things that would get me interested in, I like that one, of uh, Queen Elizabeth. Revenue postage, nine pence. On that. So I like that one a lot. Um, it, it's these kinds of uh, interesting things that would get uh, someone from coins to uh, collect paper money, just with the intricate nature of it. We've got some from Denmark, uh, Canada, the uh, Netherlands Queen uh, Wilhelma, or I forget all of the queens there, Alice. Salomon from Germany. <clears throat> Seen a few of these on here. Who do we have? Osterreich. So that's Austria. <clears throat> More uh, German architecture. This uh, George Washington really canceled Mark on that one. Queen Juliana, Australia, Spain, Correjos, France, 1.1 one, uh, 1 .1 franc, 3 cent, or 3 pence, South Africa, Sweet Africa, 2.5 cents, Hungary, showing a bus, Another one from Swiss. I like the, I guess that's a mountain goat on that one. Yugoslavia, 5,000. More George Washington. Thomas Paine. So I wonder if most people prefer the canceled stamps, which have been lightly canceled, such as this one. So that really shows off the, the work of art a little bit better when you get something like that. Let's go through some of these. Uh, Belgium. Netherlands. Let me zoom in a little bit more. Let's see if we can do that. Found our first uh, British uh, pre-Queen Elizabeth, so we've got George the Six on that one. But uh, this one, Republic Buriatia, uh, vantage point of the Earth from the Moon. So that one is uh, certainly interesting. Belgium, more Belgium. So we're going to get a lot of similar ones. Might as well be on one strip like this one. <laughs> I like that. So. Uh, We throw the queen. Oh, we've got a uh, 
kind of bird do we have on this one? Looks like cool mess. So that'd be a, a nice name for abbreviation for a lot of people. Keep dropping stamps on me somehow. All right. That one is uh, colorful. This one's kind of trippy, I would say. Uh, celebrating Columbus, 1992. So 500 years of uh, uh, trip to America. Interesting that Netherland would feature that on a stamp. Let's look at this pug right here. Another one from Ajman State, Australia, with some flowers. See the architecture on this one. Not going to attempt to pronounce the name of that. Uh, let's see, from Italy. Castle Scalgero Sirmione. Some uh, Japan. Oh, it looks like we've got a uh, another from uh, Republic Buriatia. I wonder if that's one of those countries where it's. Uh, I'm told they made stamps that weren't really made to appear on postage, but they were just sold to be on collectors. Or it's just sold for collectors, not really to be used as postage. I guess we don't want to focus on uh, this one from, I think that's Italy. Got some Israel there. Yeah, Buryatia there. <clears throat> Those stamps are too nice to be uh, used as uh, postage. All right, so for the next uh, little bit, what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to go through and pick out some of the ones that I think are particularly interesting instead of just trying to go through the pile. Okay, I had to look up Buriatia, or however you pronounce it. I had to look them up as well, and apparently that is a somewhat autonomous region of Russia, and so they were able to make their own stamps for a while. On this one, they are celebrating fencing. On, let's see, on this Netherlands stamp, we've got different kinds of technology. Look at that old uh, computer or calculator adding machine and whatever that is on the top left. Uh, we've got this uh, interesting older one from Indonesia. Nagaland uh, celebrating the United States space mission, uh, Apollo 15. We've got two of those. Here's one for uh, Sharjah. Celebrating the uh, Munich Olympics of 1972. This one from Oman celebrates Beethoven. Another one from Buriata. I thought this one from New Zealand was a little bit interesting. How it had a... Looks like it was reused where they didn't want to just reprint a bunch of stamps. So they... Uh, looks like the original price was canceled. Uh, with a dot placed over the original uh, value of the stamp in the bottom left corner in that circle, and a 2D, or representing two uh, pence, was printed over it. I thought that was interesting. Uh, here is a Hungarian uh, round building. Uh, I like the mustache on uh, this guy from Italy. Got one from Mozambique uh, with a map of the country. And then uh, Canadian geese. All right. Let's see. For our next handful, uh, we have one on top here that appears to be uh, Queen Victoria. I mean, yeah, Queen Victoria in an early picture of her listed as one penny. So uh, that might be the earliest stamp in the whole bag. Uh, I'm going to assume it's not worth anything if it's going to appear in the bag. Or maybe they threw in like one or two that have a dollar value just to uh, make it feel like we got something out of it. So the next one is Hong Kong. That looks like George V. And then uh, Suomi. Uh, that is going to be Finland. Oh, now I see that it does say Finland on it. Here we have a uh, Queen Juliana of Netherlands. It must be her 70th birthday on there. Then uh, Sweden. That appears to be an older one for 10 or. Egypt, uh, 10 Malims. I guess they would call that Mills. Australia, that one 
with the one slash six, that would be one shilling, six pence, or one and a half shilling. I like this uh, Netherland uh, speed skating, or ice skating. No, I guess that's going to be just running. But how it looks like the athletes are focused, but the scoreboard in the background where it says 55 cent is blurred as if uh, they're caught in the, the motion of running. So that was a neat effect to put onto a stamp. Uh, from Australia, we have this uh, little kingfisher on a 45 cent stamp. This one, I don't see a country on here, so I don't know who this is. Uh, it has a date of 1898 to 1923, so it's at least after that, but I don't know who it represents. Uh, from Germany, we have Eric Olenhauer. From the United States, we have Einstein. That one's not been canceled. I might be able to use that one. From Kenya, we have what I would call an anteater, but they must call the ant bear on their 15-cent coin. From the Netherlands, that looks like a uh, the winner of some kind of child submission on a uh, year 2000 ornament, I guess, for uh, 55 cents. Here is uh, another uh, somewhat of a modern design from Netherlands. When I say modern, I mean something like the 60s or 70s on there. Um, another one from Hungary. Uh, must be some art university, I would uh, suspect. And then this one, as uh, not only am I from the United States, but I'm from Tennessee. And so here is uh, the president from our area, Andrew Jackson. So hadn't gone down in history as one of the better presidents, but uh, as someone local, I find that... Uh, I uh, find it interesting to find stuff about him. In the middle of this bag was a uh, coupon code for, if you want to buy something like this from these people, Hobby of Kings, uh, it comes with a 5% uh, off coupon. I'm also looking for countries that I haven't shown off yet, and here's one from Argentina. Looks like that name is Manuel Belgrano. Uh, we have a crab from Israel. Uh, there's, uh, looks like some... Uh, sugar cane from Suriname. Then from India, we have uh, Nehru. Then uh, showing off a game reserve from Nigeria. This one appears to be some kind of uh, local train in uh, Germany. This is the first one I've seen of George V uh, from Britain. With the value of one penny uh, from Japan, here is one with uh, seashells on it. This uh, next one from Netherlands uh, looks awfully uh, more punk or uh, whatnot than I would normally expect to see on a stamp, but also looks like he's surrounded by coronavirus. That one's kind of scary. Uh, we have this from Cyprus. Apparently it goes to the refugee fund. The next one shows the interior of a house from the Netherland Antilles, that is better known as uh, Caraco. Then uh, this one from Germany uh, has what, as an American would think, looks like a space shuttle, but it must be their equivalent of the space shuttle. This one from Australia features uh, perhaps my favorite bird from Australia. That is the kookaburra, which my wife and I saw at a uh, zoo not too far from here. Here's the nicest one I've seen with a butterfly, uh, butterfly so far from uh, Czechoslovakia. Then uh, this one is just called Portrait of a Young Man, 1521. So must be artwork appearing on their Ajman stamps. And then uh, we have this one also from Oman of Beethoven. So uh, was that last one also Beethoven or a different composer? I don't remember. All right, uh, Buriesha, or I'm eventually I'll get that pronounced right. Uh, we've got more from them. That shows an old uh, ship. Here from Australia, we have a uh, three pence uh, coin with George V. And then another one from Buriesha. This one has uh, some kind of, uh, I guess, 80s or 90s sports car <clears throat> driving on the beach. Wanted to show off one from Denmark just because I wanted to. Uh, I'd passed over several already. It looks like they all have the three lions in a row there. I don't really see that symbolism symbolism on the coins as much, but I didn't want to. If I saw the country in 
the bag and I'd skipped up on over it so far, I wanted to at least show one of every country that was represented in this lot. This next one from Australia <clears throat> celebrates skateboarding. Here is uh, a $1 stamp of uh, Woodrow Wilson from the United States. And then um, here is a half penny from Britain of George V on that green one right there. <clears throat> Here's the first one I've seen from Qatar. Something uh, from industry. From New Zealand, we have a wren. Another from Ajman State, we have a rocket. And notes this is an airmail stamp, so I wonder if that's the air if <laughs> it went by rocket. Uh, from Hungary, we have an interesting bus right here. I think that's interesting. And then from Britain, we have this <clears throat> interesting Christmas design. So we have a British uh, uh, mailbox. I forget what they called them. Maybe a post uh, box with uh, covered in snow and several color, uh, colorful uh, birds flying around it. First one I've seen from Ireland. Uh, all their coins have harps on them, so their stamps do not. Uh, here's uh, Portugal for two and a half viscados. From Germany, we have this one of uh, Queen Nefertiti in Berlin. So um, must have been on tour at some point. You would expect that to be from Egypt. Here's the one stamp that I remember from last year from Australia. It shows a um, kangaroo and an emu carrying a couple of, of uh, tourists who have their cameras out looking at them pretty closely. I thought that was a pretty funny uh, stamp. Uh, here is another Concorde stamp. This one is from France. Here is some Soviet stamps, four together for 12 kopeck each, uh, showing some cosmonaut or somewhat. Uh, this one is from East Germany because a lot of their coins have this uh, hammer in, or this um, compass design. Another one from Portugal. This one has uh, stacks of uh, coins and a B on it. So as a coin collector, I recognize the 100 Escudos on that one. Let's see, we might have enough for one more bundle here. Well, I decided to sit down for about 30 minutes and take a slower look at some of the, about the last third that was in this package. So from Germany here, we have just a, during their hyperinflation, 5 million mark. Uh, so during the, I guess the World War I, one days. From Romania, we have this 20 Bonnie stamp. And then here's our first from Guyana, another one with a uh, nice sailing ship, or they call it the Dutch Marine ship in 1990. Here from Indonesia, we have, uh, I guess that's some kind of ferret, but I don't really think of ferrets as being underwater. Maybe they are. It uh, doesn't look like a seal or any... Uh, <laughs> waterbound animal I know. Uh, from Switzerland, we have the, uh, this reminds me of the cartoons that I would see as a kid where they would have the, uh, the dog with the, uh, the Swiss, uh, or the, like the, the barrel that's attached to it that I guess they would run out into the mountains to help, uh, people who are stranded. So I thought that was interesting. From Germany, we have the Brandenburg Gate. We see that on, Brit on the British, on the, uh, German Euros, uh, some of them. Uh, here we have that, uh, that's a scary looking monkey from Buriatia. Um, Poland, we have uh, this kind of a neat sword right there. Then here is one from Kampuchea. There's another country that doesn't exist anymore today. They are uh, Cambodia. So that was my only coin from there. There's uh, quite a uh, uh, scary looking, uh, but neat artwork from uh, Japan. Here was, I saw a couple of these from Nicaragua in 1983. <laughs> Another car, that's I guess some kind of Ford GT there. Very uh, aerodynamic looking. Then from, let's see, as a coin collector, I found this one from Israel interesting. I believe that represents an old-fashioned Prussia coin, so I thought that was neat. Then we've got from, uh, I believe this was the only ones we had from Korea, and it's I'm trying to focus on the back here. Um, I guess that's North Korea, I mean South Korea on here. Had uh, three of those. I do see where it says Korea on it for sure, uh, on the stamp on here. 
All right, uh, one last little batch to go through. I <laughs> just dropped a couple as I was hitting the play button. Let's fix that. We saw Washington earlier, but a uh, U.S. Uh, stamp video is not complete without something of Lincoln on it. So I was trying to show off this last one uh, before something dropped the last time. But uh, here we have what looks like an old stamp. Now I see the, the, uh, the, the cancel mark of uh, 1940, I guess, from Suriname, seven and a half cents. And I believe Suriname was controlled by Netherlands at the time. From another one from Ajman, this one features the vulture pendant. So that is uh, some kind of neat uh, fashion jewelry. From Oman, we have winter skiing. So I, I would have thought that uh, Oman knew much as much about skiing as Jamaica knew about the bobsled, but uh, that's what they want from Let's see, from New Zealand, we have a kiwi fruit. And then uh, Italy, that is a... It's not going to focus on the, the Italy stamp here. I guess I have to pull out a little bit here, pull back. So this 5 lira stamp from Italy shows the famous... Um, I first saw that imagery in the city of Rome, Georgia. They had that as a statue, as a gift from the country of Italy... I believe that's the depiction of uh, Romulus and Remus uh, suckling on the wolf. I think that's a wolf. I, I used to know the story. Here's a neat kangaroo from Australia. Another one from Australia. We have this uh, the the leafy sea dragon, which I oftentimes see in um, the uh, uh, aquariums. From Ajman State, we have this one that celebrates the life of Christ, which is not something you would expect from a Muslim area. So uh, that tells me that they were definitely uh, aiming for uh, trying to get um, Westerners uh, on that. And then we're going to finish up with this one from Hungary. Uh, I didn't mean to save it for the last, but it kind of fell out of the stack. And from uh, Socialist Hungary, is that Lenin on a stamp? I would have expected that from something Soviet, but... Uh, that is uh, from Russia. So let's zoom out of here, see the pile a little bit. And so that was a thousand stamps. Obviously, I didn't show them all. I I felt like the uh, there were about ten countries that were just repeated over and over and over. And so I saw the same ten countries so many times. And I, I guess that is uh, something to be expected. I would hope with a uh, a like a, a random grab bag that there could have been some more diversity. I, I expected a hundred different stamps of Queen Elizabeth in here. That's not a problem. It just, I wish it wasn't the same 10 countries over and over. And it's like, uh, especially Netherlands, I uh, saw them a lot. Um, Hungary, they had nicer stamps than Netherlands though. Uh, and Germany, they, some of theirs are, are pretty interesting. So some of all these countries had interesting stamps and, but I wish I could have found some more of the different countries, the, the countries that we only saw one or two of. That would have been neater to find a lot more of those. And I just don't know how available those are in the industry. But uh, I've, I've made uh, videos like this before where it was just a, kind of a pile like this. And, and so, of course, here in the background, we see lots of things that didn't get highlighted in the video. But, uh, well, there you go. Uh, there are all kinds of lots like this on eBay that I don't know if I've seen one of a thousand stamps before for for a good price, but I've seen stuff where they say uh, you'll get $50 of value for $10 or something like that. I feel like the stamp collecting industry must have at some point significantly gone down in value. Uh, I've seen that happen with uh, some of the other collectibles that I have, uh, but at least with stamps, there's kind of a floor if it's unused that... You can even buy them below face value, but uh, not too much uh, below face in, in many cases. But uh, in, in coins, uh, you always have the precious metal value of some of the higher end coins that will keep it from going down too much. But, well, there you go. Um, turn this into a 30-minute video. Thanks for watching. I hope you found these as interesting as I did, and I'll catch you on the next video. Bye.